Hey guys, welcome to the new video of this series and in this video we will be going to install the chain code in our Kubernetes cluster. So before installing the chain code in our peers, let's first create one directory and inside the directory we are going to keep our chain code. So I'm going to create one folder here and I will call it as chain code and inside that I want to create one fabcar folder where I want to keep my fabcar chain code. So if we do ls, we should have one chain code directory and inside this we have one fabcar directory. Now for the chain code, I will go to the fabric samples and from there I can grab the chain code. So let me go to my browser and here this is the official fabric samples repository and inside this we have one fabcar chain code. So right now I am going to install the go chain code first. So click on this go and here you have all the files. So let's just quickly grab these files. And then go to VS code here inside the fab card. New file. Fabcard.go. Let's put the chain code here. And let's grab the go mod and go some file as well. So let's put so this is the go mod. Now after this we can get the go some as well. new file go dot sum put everything here okay we now we have the fabcar chain code and let's uh, do this thing let's create one folder here i will call it as go and inside this folder i'm going to keep my go chain code so all these files i will just simply drag and drop here yeah so this is perfect now so now let's open the terminal and from there we can run the command to install the chain code. So this is the command which is going to install the chain code. So first we have to give the path uh, where our chain code is currently. So our chain code is currently inside this chain code directory. Chain code then we have fabcar was the folder. And inside that we have one folder which is go so our chain code lives inside this folder and after that we are specifying our network config file and then we are specifying the language over which we want to deploy the chain code so if your chain code is in node or java then you can specify your language here and then we are specifying the label so label is nothing just the name of the chain code and then we are specifying the user and then the peer so this user is going to install the chain code and then on which peer on this peer that we have specified here so let's hit enter and this chain code creation process is going to take some time so this this usually takes two to three minutes because it has to do a lot of stuff like vendoring the chain code and then installing the chain code as well let me rerun this okay so looks like there is some issue with my go path variable so let me just quickly fix this and then I will see you. So it looks like the problem is resolved. Uh, I just reinstalled the Go in my machine and it will take some time to, uh, to install the chain code. So this is the normal time that it takes to install the chain code. So meanwhile the chain code installing we can go to the lens ID and see if the uh, if the chain code containers are getting created or not. So here in the lens ID, we can see that a new a container has started and it is still in the creation phase. So let's wait for this process to finish and then we will install the chain code in other peers as well. Okay, so the chain code has been installed and we can see we got the package ID as well. Now let's quickly install this chain code on the second peer as well. So I'm going to install the chain code in all the four peers. 
and this time it is going to be R1 PR2 rest of the part is going to be same so meanwhile the chain code installing I want to show you one more thing so in the language part uh, if your chain code is running on the Golang then you can keep the language as Golang but if your chain code is running on node then you can keep this value as node and if it is in Java then you can keep the value as Java here and rest of the flags are common irrespective of the language of chain code so the chain code got installed and now we can quickly install this chain code in the in the awk2 peer1 and the awk2 peer2 so all i have to do is just change the variables here like this so our chain code got installed successfully in awk2 peer1 and now finally we can install this chain code into awk2 peer2 so our chain code was installed successfully in in awk2 peer2 so this was pretty much it for this video in the next video we will be going to take a look how we can approve the chain code and commit the chain code as well so that's all for now and if you enjoyed this video then please give a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel and i will see you in the next one